Hey guys. So I wanted to talk to you about one of these words. It's probably going to crawl up your spine. It's called rejection. How'd that feel when you heard that word? You've been rejected. Rejection. Does it hurt at all? Like, are you feeling any pain whatsoever when I say that? Well, I hate that word. It hurts. I don't know why it hurts so bad. I guess it just makes you feel like someone's telling you, go away. You don't matter. What you're doing is wrong. Rejection hurts. So here's my encouragement for you today. My encouragement for you is to go ahead and take the word rejection out of your vocabulary. And here's why. If I message somebody and we're talking and Plexus comes up and they say to me, oh, you're so sweet, but I'm not interested. If I call that and label that with the word rejection, I'm suddenly hurt. Feels kind of like this weird virtual bullet wound. It's like, oh, that hurts so bad. But it really wasn't rejection. In fact, I think it actually makes logical sense that any functioning adult is going to say no. And here's why. Number one, we're taught that if it's too good to be true, it's too good to be true. Well, so I would imagine if someone heard me talk about something that sounds too good to be true, that they're going to be like, mm, no. I kind of want them to say no in some respects because then I think, at least I know you're a rational human being. But what they don't realize is, I believe every time we message each other, it's just a stepping stone moving them towards the end of their journey. And the end of their journey is when they go to www.jenniferdrinkspink.com and they click join Plexus. But that may take time. I'm going to call that the crock pot method because you're slowly warming them up, right? Now, think about Alita Allen. Every single time I messaged her, first one was we were actually not even that really great of friends. We really didn't know each other that well, really. Her best friend, Audrey, is my best friend. So I knew her through Audrey. And what happened was I kept seeing Alita um, post about doing these cheese classes. You didn't mishear me. I actually said the right thing. She was doing cheese classes. <laughs> Still kills me. But she's an amazing person. I'm like, who else could teach cheese classes for money? But that's exactly what she did. And she would post on YouTube and do these great classes. And she would butcher cows and make money and kill chickens and make money. And I'm like, this girl hustles. I know a way that she could be making some serious bank providing for those four adorable babies, six and under. And so I messaged her and I said, look, I really think you need to look at this. I See how hard you work. Why not work with something that's going to pay you really well? And she said exactly what I told you. Oh, you're so sweet, but no, I'm not interested. Gave it a month or two, followed up, asked how her cheese classes were going, talked with her about how beautiful her singing voice was that I had heard it on a video. And then I said something like, and hey, if you ever want a sample, you know, hint, hint, something silly, something goofy to follow up. And she's like, still no, Jen, still no. I didn't take that personally. I didn't say she rejected me. No. Instead, I said, we're just getting that much closer because the friendship was always paramount. The relationship was always key. It was never truly about me closing the deal per se. It was always about what was best for her. And so I can't help but think about her story in particular because what if? What if she had never said yes? What if I had never reached out? I can't even imagine what that would mean for her life right now. But I want you right now to reflect on how long it took you to say yes to Plexus. Go ahead and think about that. It took me six months. Um, it took Catherine Smith, I think, 10 months. It took Alita almost two years. What does that say to you about timing? Hey, puppy. Hey, little puppy. You want to say hi? <laughs> little golden doodle. Um, what does that say to you about timing? It says that the people that stay with Plexus, and I mean this, the people that stay and work and stay and work and stay and work and stay, we will be some of the top earners from any company ever. And that's because we truly have something so special. And that means that if you join and you expect to hit these certain goals that you've set out for yourself and you don't, and that to you is a sign that you should quit or you're not doing what you thought you would do, I think you've got it all wrong. And instead, instead of thinking about these goals that you've set for yourself, instead, make those goals actual people, not ranks. List out these names of people that you want, 10 names, and you're not done until they have said yes. Now, I don't want you to go out 
prospecting them, nagging them, sending them business cards, sending them videos, sending them links, tagging the heck out of them. It's different. This is a totally different technique. This is get to know them, get to know their passions, get to know their children's names, take them a meal if you live close by, invite them over, go to coffee, send them cute memes. You are working in that relationship. Every one of us has got to become professionals at starting conversations and keeping conversations going. When the person loves you, trusts you, I promise they will ask you about what you do and you say you should take a look at it. It's fun. You know you would love it. All of that. And now they're asking you, which is safe ground. So the point of the whole story is this. Rejection does not exist. And instead, take it as part of their story. The little lily pad that they're hopping on to get to the other side. All right. You guys have an amazing rest of your evening. You're very loved. Thanks for watching.